We are here today to talk about the Integrated Land and Water Use Award that has been granted for the Retool COS project through APA Colorado. The Retool COS project was kicked off in December of 2019 with the goal of creating a unified development code or a UDC. We really wanted to focus on water conservation through the zoning code. We're a fast growing community with a limited water supply and so our future demands uh, and the growth associated with those demands is really critical to understand understand that so that we can develop our supplies properly to ensure a reliable source of water for our, our future. A recent Keystone Center study found that allowing smaller single-family residential lots and allowing mid-rise, one to three-story multi-family development create significant water savings in outdoor water use. And the new Colorado Springs Development Code allows both of those types of development to happen much easier in more areas of the city. The water demand model predicts water demands on the basis of population density and land use, whereas traditional approaches to modeling demand really just looks at population. My role as a city landscape architect is, is really just making sure that when we have new development that those plans are meeting our new regulations. With the new land planning, we wanted to really look at commercial landscaping and residential to a certain extent on how we can really use our resources more wisely and uh, just be more aware of the, of the amount that we have. So it's really important for the landscapes in Colorado Springs to be attractive and resilient. So with um, turf grass being limited to 25%, if we can use native plants and water-wise plants to landscape the other 75% of those lots, then those landscapes will be much more resilient to drought. They will be much more water-wise, so that'll reduce the cost and the amount of water that they'll require, and they'll be much more easy to maintain and not die when we go into drought. 